The Fenaflex flywheel coupling is designed to fit standard SAE and other popular flywheel configurations. With a wide variety of dynamic stiffnesses available per coupling size, it provides on the most comprehensive offerings on the market today. Make sure all the correct components are available and the relevant tools required are ready before attempting assembly. Check the taper lock bush ball corresponds with the driven machine shaft diameter and that the flywheel element fixing hold PCD matches the PCD of the engine flywheel holes. All mating surfaces of the assembly, taper bore in the flange and engine flywheel face should be cleaned to remove any debris that might impede accurate and effective assembly. A lint-free cloth is usually sufficient. Fit ferrules supplied into the holes moulded in the flywheel coupling element. The ferrules are supplied in a bag which is attached to the element. Loosely place the bush into the taper bore of the driven flange, taking care to align the half holes correctly. Specific details of this procedure can be viewed on the Fenner Taper Lock Bush installation video. Then place the bolt ring, clamping ring and element onto the driven shaft before locating the coupling flange so that dimension M will be achieved on assembly. Bring the driven shaft into line with the engine flywheel until dimension M is correct. If shaft end float is to occur, locate the driven shaft at mid position of end float. The driven shaft end may project beyond the face of the driven flange, but take care to ensure you allow sufficient space between the flywheel and driven shaft end to accommodate end float and misalignment. Measure the gap between the driven flange and flywheel face at different points around the circumference to check angular alignment. To accurately align the driven shaft with the engine flywheel, check parallel and angular alignment by mounting a dial test indicator onto the flywheel with the indicator stylus resting near the driven flange outside diameter. Rotate the flange through 360 degrees, noting the indicator reading as you do this. Repeat this procedure with the indicator stylus resting on the outside diameter of the driven flange. Indicator readings for parallel and angular alignment should not exceed the values given in the installation instructions. You can now bolt the driven machine in place. Place the flexible flywheel element and bolt ring in position, then fit the fixing screws finger tight. Replace the clamping ring onto the driven flange over the tyre bead and finger tighten the clamping ring screws to secure the tyre. Using a spanner and torque wrench, tighten the clamping ring and bolt ring screws alternatively and evenly, half a turn at a time, until the correct screw torque detailed in the installation instructions is achieved. Take care and note that once assembled there should not be any metal to metal contact between the driven flange and the clamping ring flange. If possible, once installed it's desirable to run the coupling under load for a short period and then recheck the clamping ring and bolt ring screw torque and restore the correct value if required. Thank you for taking the time to view this Fenner installation video.